guys, this is Richie here in the Demo Lab at Mason Music Studios in Birmingham, Alabama. And today we're going to be giving you a brief glimpse at the Orange OR15. This is a really neat amplifier, uh, amp head system that we're going to be looking at today. It's got some really cool and unique features on it. It's kind of a modern twist on a vintage kind of throwback that Orange has been putting out. So what we'll do first, um, before we get started with the demo, I'm going to show you some of the gear that we're also working with alongside the OR15 this morning. First here we have a orange PPC-112 with some Celestian speakers in it. It's mic'd by a Shure SM57, so you know as you're watching this video, you'll get a really good clear sound out of it. And of course we're working with orange head and orange cab, so you've got that pure sound. And then up here, I'm working with a Jackson. PC-1 model guitar, uh, standard, nothing's been modified on it. I'm going to mainly stick with the bridge position today with these DiMarzio pickups down here, just because that would primarily be what most guitar players would work with on a Strat style guitar in this amp setup. So you get that really beefy, hard attack kind of sound. So before we get rolling into some of the sound clips, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the outer features and some of what's going on internally with the amp uh, head, and then we'll kind of demonstrate some of those features. So as I mentioned, it's kind of a vintage kind of throwback, modernized slightly. So first you notice that it's in a, what we call a sleeved setting, unlike the lunchbox system where the rails are on top, kind of quick and portable. This is a, has a rubber handle on top and it's still very light and quick to kind of carry around on the go. Uh, and then on the front here, the cosmetics of this are really neat. We have what we call a picks only system. And this is a throwback to the orange amps that were kind of first coming about in the 60s and 70s, where they didn't put any text on the knobs. And so as you can see from your left to right here, all of our, our switches and knobs, I'm just gonna walk through those quickly in case you're not familiar with some of the musical iconography on here. Well, first over here, we have of course our on and off switch. That actually has some text above it, so that's pretty straightforward. And then we have one of the most unique features of this amp, a 15 watt to seven watt switch with a standby position in the middle. As you can see on top, a louder speaker and a smaller speaker indicating a drop in volume. And so what we'll do throughout the demo is on a couple of the clips, I'll start on 15 watts and then play the same clip again on seven watts so you can hear the volume drop. And what this does, for a standard guitar player is allows you to take this equipment to a gig and be really loud, especially if you're mic, but even according to the venue, you might even not, not even need a microphone on this amp and get a really loud, gritty sound or a clean sound as we'll see. And then after the gig, you might wanna head home and you still feel like maybe I need to throw in some practice time. You can drop that switch down to seven watts and keep all the family and the neighbors happy so you're not blowing out the windows at home. So it's a really nice feature. We have the orange indicator light for when power is working. And then right here we get an actual volume knob as the speaker indicates up here. Okay, so that's just your overall volume. And then right here we have our EQ, a three band EQ. First over here, we have a treble clef symbol from standard notation sheet music reading. So that's the high end, the highs on your uh, amp setting. And then we have arrows pointing inward indicating middle for your mid range. And then we have a bass clef for the low end, okay? And so what I'll do, I'll also tinker with those just on a couple of uh, riffs and some uh, clips of playing just to give you an idea of what that range can do. It's a little bit more expressive than some amps. They're passive knobs, so when they're at 12 o'clock, they're straight on. If we back it off, it pulls some of those EQ uh, ranges out. And if we roll it past, it kind of beefs them back in. And then finally right here, one of the really great features about this amp, as with other amp, orange amp products, we have the gains uh, setting. You can see the, the triangle line and a line through it indicating breakup. So that's the gain and that's where things get really expressive. This amp has a boutique voicing, that vintage kind of sound uh, with some of the internal parts, really allowing this overdrive to get that old British crunch sound that everybody got really familiar with and uh, brought orange some great notoriety. So we'll be working with that. This amp allows you to kind of work with your volume control and your pick attack and get some really expressive things going. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna back the gain off 
and we're gonna roll the clean up because one of the great things this amp does is it cleans up really well. You can get a really loud kind of sparkly clean uh, for, for all of your clean parts that you might wanna play. So I'm gonna start with 15 watts on this one. The gain's pretty low. I'm gonna run mostly with a, a mid scooped setting where the mids are gonna be dropped and the bass and treble are gonna be high. I'm gonna play a couple of little lines for you to hear this uh, clean volume sound. So I'm gonna go up a little bit louder. And then I'll drop to the seven watts and play this again. I'm going to do a seven watt drop and play a little bit of that same riff so you can get that idea again and hear the volume switch. So there you go, you hear that good clean volume. Gain is pretty low, mid scoop sound, volume just about maxed out. Really good clean sound and you heard that volume drop from 15 watts to seven watts. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to 15 watts and now back the clean volume back off a little bit and we're just gonna start getting into some overdriven sound, just a light breakup kind of sound. I'm gonna stick with the 15 watts on this one I'm gonna do kind of a high pass sound, roll the mids up a little bit. So the mids and highs are kind of standing out on this one. Go. So there you're starting to get already some thick overdrive coming through. The gain's up at about 11 o'clock there. So you can see the expressiveness that's already coming in. Back that clean off, get some really good crunchy sound, and the bass isn't up very high at all. So now, I'm gonna bring it back to a mid scoop sound. Roll the mids back out. Bass back up. And this time, I'm actually going to uh, roll the treble down a little bit and actually bring those mids back in. So now we'll get the, the, the highs out of there. All right, I'm gonna roll the overdrive up a little bit more, the gain up a little bit more. So now we've got an even crunchier sound. All right.
put it on standby there while the gain's up so it's not super buzzy. But you can hear with the gain past 12 o'clock, we're really getting into that British crunch sound that everybody really uh, started noticing with orange amps back in the 60s and 70s. So last but not least, I'm gonna max the overdrive this time. Turn the volume down a good bit because it's gonna be pretty loud here. And we'll put it on 15 watts, and like we did with the clean, we'll drop to seven watts. So you get both ranges, the pure clean and now the purely distorted overdriven sound, and here 15 watts to seven watts uh, volume difference. Up a little bit, you can already hear that buzz coming through. I'm gonna drop out the mids, roll the treble back up a little bit. that thing really screaming now. So we're gonna do a seven watt drop. you're able to notice there that significant volume drop and of course you can really work with your overall volume master volume there if you're at home practicing and trying to keep that quieter but you see the range of expressiveness that starts happening with that gain knob there a lot of ver uh, variety a lot of versatility that you can get out of this amp whether you're gigging or at home working on a kind of building up some of those licks and chops so that is the OR15 it's got a couple of EL84 power tubes in it. It's got a 12 AX7 preamp tubes and then a 12 AT7 tube in the back that kind of works one of the uh, other features of this amp that we didn't really get to demonstrate today, but it's got an effects loop on there for your effects pedals. So for you uh, guitar players out there that are already kind of doing this or are intrigued by this idea, there's an effects loop that works really well on this amp and allows you to kind of run those effects through the amp rather than just in front of them and adds that next layer of color and versatility to this amp. So if you're ever in uh, Birmingham and near the Mountain Brook area, you can walk into our studio and this OR15 is usually out and about with a, a plethora of effects pedals that you can tinker with and run into that loop channel there. So that's the OR15. If uh, you're watching this video and you haven't uh, subscribed to our page, please do so. We'd love to have you there and uh, keep up with our videos that we're releasing. And like and leave us a comment on this video. We'd love to hear from you. That's all for today. I'm Richie, and this has been Demo Lab.